How dare you betray the Brotherhood? It's not his fault. It's mine. I'll deal with you in a moment. Knight, why has this... this thing not been destroyed? He's still alive. Because you're wrong about him. Him? Dance isn't a man. It's a machine. An automaton created by the Institute. It wasn't born from the womb of a loving mother. It was grown within the cold confines of a laboratory. Flesh is flesh. Machine is machine. The two were never meant to intertwine. By attempting to play God, the Institute has taken the sanctity of human life and corrupted it beyond After measure. After all I've done for the Brotherhood, all the blood I've spilled in our name, how can you say that about You're the physical embodiment of what we hate most. Technology that's gone too far. Look around you, Dance. Look at the scorched earth and the bones that litter the wasteland. Millions, perhaps even billions, died because science outpaced man's restraint. They called it a new frontier and pushing the envelope, completely disregarding the repercussions. Can't you see the same thing is happening again? You're a single bomb in an arsenal of thousands, preparing to lay waste to what's left of mankind. Dance wants to save mankind, not destroy it. You're as delusional as you are insubordinate. How can you trust the word of a machine that thinks it's alive? A machine that's had its mind erased, its thoughts programmed, its very soul manufactured. Those ethics that it's striving to champion aren't even its own. They were artificially inserted in an attempt to have it blend into society. It's true. I was built within the confines of a laboratory. And some of my memories aren't my own. But when I saw my brothers dying at my feet, I felt sorrow. When I defeated an enemy of the Brotherhood, I felt pride. And when I heard your speech about saving the Commonwealth, I felt hope. Don't you understand? I thought I was human, Arthur. From the moment I was taken in by the Brotherhood, I've done absolutely nothing to betray your trust, and I never will. It's too late for that now. The Institute has foolishly chosen to grant you life. You simply should not exist. I don't intend to debate this any longer. My orders stand. It's all right. We did our best. You convinced me that I was wrong to be ashamed of my true identity, and I thank you for it. Whatever you decide, know that I'm going to my grave with no anger and no regrets. Touching. Either you execute Dance, or I will, Knight. The choice is yours. After all the sacrifices I have made, and all the battles I have fought for the Brotherhood, you need to listen to me. You owe me that much. Very well. I'm listening. Whether he's human or not, Dan saved the lives of countless Brotherhood soldiers. Now it's time you saved his. You're a stubborn man. So, it appears we've arrived at an impasse. Allowing Dance to live undermines everything the Brotherhood stands for. Yet you insist that he remains alive. Which leaves me with only a single alternative. Dance, as far as I'm concerned, you're dead. You were pursued and slain by this Brotherhood Knight. And your remains were incinerated. From this day forward, you are forbidden to set foot on the Pridwin. Or speak to anyone from the Brotherhood of Steel. Should you choose to ignore me, no, you'll be fired upon immediately. Do we understand each other? I do. Thank you for believing in me, Arthur. Don't mistake my mercy for acceptance. The only reason you're still alive is because of him. I'm returning to the Pridwin Knight. Take some time. Say your goodbyes. And then I expect to see you there. We still have the Institute to deal with. Excuse me. It took a hell of a lot of guts to stand up to Maxim like that. Friends take care of each other, no matter what. That they do. Which is why I've decided to stay here. I didn't plan on spending the rest of my days at this old listening post. 
but it will have to do. Besides, you're still gonna need my help, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna let you wander the Commonwealth alone. Now, you better get back to the Pridwin. In the meantime, I'll start making this bunker more livable. If you ever need me, I'll be right here. Can't you come with me now? You heard what Maxon said. If I'm seen aboard the Pridwin, at the police station, or at the airport, not only would I be killed, I'd undermine his authority. I won't do that. But if you need me to take the fight anywhere else, I'll be there. I don't think Maxon knew she was involved, so she'll be safe. I'll contact her and let her know what happened here. It's the least I could do. Goodbye, Dance. Farewell. I hope the next time we meet, it will be under happier circumstances. Synths are nothing but technology run amok. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Just looking to do a little trading. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores, we grant the access. I already have the fusion cores you need. Really? Well then, I suppose I should say, welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. Guts wearing that fit boy in the car. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. 
As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. I admit, I didn't expect to see you wearing a vault suit. Did you come from one of the vaults? Is it still operational? It's more like a graveyard now. Almost no survivors. Christ, I'm sorry. What happened there? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods, but something malfunctioned. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. You should be wary. The Commonwealth is a dangerous place. Exactly why we rely on a select few traders for our needs. That's why I like to use a give and take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Of course. Here they are. Thank you. Dr. Penske will greatly appreciate these. Now, I have work to do. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. No signs of radiation. Impressive. If you hey, want a good meal, see Maria here? at the cafeteria. Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. You're not... Hey, mister. Are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey. I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Sure, but I'm not paying you. Okay, okay. Boy, you're a real cheapskate. We'll start over here. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. Good to know, Austin. Thanks. See, I told you I know things. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders, too. The Overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Overseer, huh? I suppose someone needs to be in charge. Well, if you need her, that's where you'll find her. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice, though. You'll like them. I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. I'll come here if I get hungry. I like it here. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grain makes me comb it. Well, 
Austin. Bingo. That hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Bran hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. If I ever need a new hairstyle, I'll come here. I hate getting my hair cut. Next stop is Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Hi, Gran. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Gran. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Pensky. She acts a little grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. Good to know. I bet she takes good care of you. When she remembers. Or isn't too busy. Watch it, boy. Next stop, Miss Katie. Come on. Hurry up! We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time. But Gran says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. It's good to know all the kids are getting an education. If you say so. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Grant makes me. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Good to know. If I need help, I'll come here. I hope you don't mind needles. They poke at you a lot in here. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Look who I found! The stranger from the Commonwealth! Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. Whoa. Someone from the Commonwealth! That's so cool! We haven't had a visitor in a while now. Thanks for doing my tour! I was so cool to show you off to everyone. I'm here now. Don't wait up for me. Yes? Pretty bad in there. Seeds. I need more seeds. Huh? Hey there. Our Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these days. I didn't even notice. Thanks for being polite. Let me know if there's something I can get for you. I've got a little bit of everything lying around here. When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends.
stay out of trouble. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. Katie Pinn is the teacher here in 81. You should stop by her class. She's big on learning. Carrington wants work. Establishing Mercer's safe house is a sign we're on the road to recovery. Thank you for that. Bad news. They kicked me out of the Institute. I can't get back in. God damn it. We knew the whole operation was a long shot. I'm sure you did your with best. With no way to coordinate with Z-114, I'm afraid we've lost our only chance. I wholeheartedly agree. Pam's already crunched the numbers on this scenario. Without help, the railroad simply doesn't have the numbers to do anything to the Institute. To forcibly free the synths in the Institute, you need an army. There may be a way. Not with us, but with your Minutemen. If you continue rebuilding them, you'd have that army. Then with the data you got using Tom's holotape, maybe they can find a way back into the Institute. If we can help with that, let us know. But I fear the fate of all the synths lie with the Minutemen now. I'm feeling overdue for some reconstructive surgery. Sorry, Tinker Tom got me. I've made my choice. The Institute is now our enemy. We always knew that day was coming. The question now is what are we gonna do about it? I say we attack. Take the fight to the Institute. I'm all for that. But we don't have any way to hit them yet. You should give Sturgis that holotape with the Institute data on it. With any luck, he can use it to find some way in. In the meantime, we can focus on building up our strength while Sturtis is working his end. No half measures. This time, when we attack, we finish the job, once and for all. Apparently, the castle's been trying to get you on the radio. Some kind of situation over there. Better go see what's going on.
There you are. Finally. I've been waiting to talk to you. Here I am. What did you need? I'm Ronnie Shaw, Commonwealth Minutemen. At least I was. Back before Joe Becker got himself killed and the idiots took over. Glad to meet you. We can use some more veterans around here. Ah, well, you're right about that. I feel like some of these you've got still may need their diapers changed. 11 a.m. here at Radio Freedom. The voice I'd still like to hear what you came to talk to me about. Heard you were trying to get the Minutemen back on their feet. Thought I'd come see the new general for myself. So what's your story? What makes you think anybody even wants the Minutemen back? The Minutemen are the good guys again. People are starting to realize that. I've heard some good things. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Now that I'm here, I can see you really need my help. We can always use more experienced soldiers. Yeah, you're not kidding. But I had something more specific in mind. I'm probably the only one who still remembers this. But the castle's armory was located in the West Bastion. All of our best equipment was stored in there. Weapons, ammo, schematics, you name it. Come on, I'll show you. Looks like it might still be intact. The door still sealed. Bastion hasn't collapsed. The trick now is finding a way in. I hope you have an idea. Of course I do. If you can't go through, go around. Let's have a look at the Northeast Bastion. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Nothing to report. Stay safe, people. General's quarters. It used to be a tunnel leading from here to the armory. Hmm, the tunnel's blocked by this rubble. We'll have to find some way to clear it. Pretty dark down here. You better watch.
One... Explains all the landmines. This is, well, was General McGann. Yeah. Armory's still intact. Everything we need, just waiting for us. You found the schematics for building artillery, right?
admit, Ronnie, having artillery would help out quite a bit. Oh, we used to rain down fire on death claws and super mutants alike. It was a glorious thing. General. It's two o'clock in the afternoon here at Radio Freedom. All quiet here. Stay tuned for a minute and alerts. Looks like you've got everything we need. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. All's quiet across the Commonwealth. Stay safe out there.
Hey there. Ah, oh, gosh darn, it's good to see artillery here again. Now here's the thing about the big guns. They can't fire at anything too close. But their range is impressive. 11 a.m. That's what the Radio smoke grenade is. The voice of the one of the bad guns. If we Something have artillery and range... Stay tuned for updates. Firm over the radio and target our fire on your smoke. But first, we've got to do a test fire. Make sure we're hitting what we're aiming at. You see that little building over there? We'll use that for our aim. Keep the radio on and tune the radio free. Alright, General, you didn't hear me already. Toss one of those smoke grenades into the target area. Got your smoke on the target. You might want to stand back. Yeah, you know, just in case. From here, you've now got artillery support. Use it wisely, General. 